So let's discuss more about cryptogams. These plants do not produce seeds. They do not have flowers or fruit. Interesting, isn't it? Then how do they produce new plants if they do not produce seeds? Do you know crypto means hidden and gamos means marriage? This means that these plants have some hidden organs of reproduction. Have you ever seen green filament like structure in the pond? Let's try this. We have pond water with green strands in it. Let's check these green strands under the microscope. So the green filament under the microscope is pyrogyra. Have you been on treks in Himalayas or have you walked in the forests in the regions where we have a lot of rainfall? I am sure you must have seen these plants on the roadsides. Have you observed brown colored spots on the reverse side of the leaves? What do you think they are? These are the spores which help them produce new plants. Also notice that the ferns have well developed roots, stem and leaves. Could you observe these structures in the green filaments spirogyra under the microscope? While walking on the hills in rainy season, you must have seen these plants. We call them moss. Can you check if they have well developed roots and stems like ferns? You will notice that their body is flat ribbon like and there are no well developed roots and stems. So the green filament under the microscope spirogyra the ferns with well developed roots stem and leaves and the mosses with flat ribbon like body have one thing in common. They produce spores for reproduction. There are many characteristics which differentiate them from each other. Let's list out them in a table. We are now dividing them in three divisions namely Thallophyta, Bryophyta and Pteridophyta. Just a quick recap. When you say Thallophyta having a body called Thallus these are algae like spirogyra, eulothrix, sargasm. Bryophyta are mosses with ribbon like bodies. Bryophyta and thallophyta do not have well formed roots, stems, and leaves, but pteridophyta, the ferns, have well formed roots, stem, and leaves, and tissues for conduction of water and food. And what's the similarity in all three subdivisions? They reproduce by spore formation.